Universal greeting. Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the Bible verse of the day from the Sure Word for today's audio daily devotion. The Sure Word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. The Benefits of Reading the Bible Reading the Bible on a regular and consistent basis has several benefits. First, the Bible shows us God's character and provides God's revelation of himself to his people. In each section of the Bible, we see God's holy, unchanging, faithful, gracious, and loving character. The scriptures are profitable for teaching. When you read the Bible, you hear the Word of God. Faith comes from continuously hearing the Word of God. Without faith, you cannot please God. Where there is no hope, faith is not necessary because faith is the substance of things hoped for. Reading the Bible is a spiritual discipline, meaning we must be disciplined in approaching it. If you lack the desire to read the Bible, Pray and ask God to give you a desire for his word. Then, build a time into your day to read scripture and make this time a priority. With the Bible verse of the day, you can plan your reading and listening routine when you have time to dine with the word of God. What you read impacts you. Subscribe to our channel. If you have yet to subscribe to our channel, please do so and click the bell icon to receive a notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to The Sure Word for today's YouTube channel. Please remember to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, acquaintances, and social networks. Thank you for sharing. We have included timestamp to this video to help you navigate easily. The Introduction Welcome to Week 29. Welcome to Day 203. Welcome to the Sure Word for today's Bible verse of the day. A daily inspirational and encouraging Bible verse. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. The Bible verse of the day. Today's Bible verse for the sure word for today is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 57, reading verse 15. Unless otherwise stated, we read all Bible quotations from the Holy Bible and the King James Version. Quote. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is Holy, I dwell in the high and holy place, with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones." Unquote. The Thoughts on the Bible Verse of the Day The Thoughts on the Sure Word for Today's Bible Verse of the Day those who keep putting off doing things which should be done without any delay will soon discover that the results can be quite costly. A student who keeps putting off doing his assignments and revision work will find himself insufficiently prepared when the exams come. A person who keeps putting off doing their household chores will find piles and piles of unwashed dishes and dirty laundry growing all over the home. A frequent credit card user who puts off settling his card accounts may find themselves laden with a huge snowballing debt that they cannot repay. Procrastination is the act of delaying or postponing tasks or actions that need to be done, despite knowing that they are important and could have negative consequences if left undone. There are several reasons why people may procrastinate. Lack of motivation. People may procrastinate when they do not feel motivated or interested in a task. Fear of failure. People may fear that they will not succeed at a task or that their work will not meet their own or others' expectations. 
Perfectionism. Some people may procrastinate because they want their work to be perfect, and they are afraid that they will not be able to achieve their high standards. Overwhelm. When people feel overwhelmed by a task, they may put it off because they do not know where to start or how to proceed. Distractions. In today's world, many distractions can take people's attention away from what they should be doing, such as social media, TV shows, or video games. Poor time management skills. Some people may procrastinate simply because they do not have good time management skills, and they do not know how to prioritize their tasks or plan their workday effectively. Overall, procrastination can have negative effects on a person's productivity, stress levels, and mental health. If you find yourself struggling with procrastination, it can be helpful to identify the root cause of your behavior and develop strategies to overcome it. One of the most costly results of procrastination took place in Scotland in the year 1691. This happened when King William III of England became the King of Scotland. He issued a decree that all the Highland chieftains had to come, and take an oath of allegiance to him by the end of that year or risk having their clans destroyed. Most of the chieftains complied immediately, but one of them, the chieftain of the Macdonald clan of a village called Glencoe, was rather slow to act on this order from the king. He unwisely delayed until the 31st of December and then he quickly rushed to the place where he was supposed to take his oath. But he found to his dismay that the place was closed as everyone was partying to welcome the new year. By the time he took his oath to King William, it was already the 2nd of January 1692, two days over the deadline. His error brought about his execution as well as the deaths of 37 members of the Macdonald clan. What a price to pay for such an unnecessary delay. Perhaps this may be one reason why McDonald's today specializes in fast food. That is a joke. You are wondering why to talk about procrastination. There is an urgency for you to come to God if you have gone astray. Most times we procrastinate, and this could be deadly, we could lose our heads the same way the chieftain of the McDonald clan did. The fact he hurried to take the oath is an indication he was not rebelling against King William but he disobeyed an order due to being too slow to act. Dear friends, the consequences of putting off things which should be done without delay are particularly severe in your response to the gospel of Jesus Christ. When you receive the outward call from God to be saved from your sins and you do not respond to it immediately, you risk losing your soul to eternal death. One passage of the Bible that brings out the sense of intense urgency to respond to God's call is Isaiah 55 verses 6-7. Let us turn to this passage in the Bible. It reads, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Do you know that if you have not responded to God's call yet, you are living in a state of rebellion? You are rebelling against the Lord. In the passage, the Lord portrays himself as a great king who speaks with authority to those subjects who have rebelled against him. He says, Why have you forsaken me? Why have you grieved my heart by your wicked ways and your unrighteous thoughts? Do you not know that your actions have caused an awful separation to exist between yourself and me? Stop this wicked rebellion at once. Now I want you to observe that the Lord is saying these words not only to all unconverted sinners together as a group, but he is also saying it to every individual in that group. He uses the plural pronoun ye in verse 6, but in the next verse he changes to the singular pronoun he. These words are therefore also directed to each and everyone here who is not yet saved. If you do not respond to God's call to the unconverted, you are continuing to advance your rebellion against him. Some may not agree with this, and you say, Pastor, how can you call me a rebel? I have not consciously done anything against God. I am not wicked. I have tried my best to live a reasonably good life. That is what you think because you are using the wrong standard to measure yourself with. Imagine for a moment that you are now flying home to Singapore from the US and you want to carry as much as you can on the flight. You call the travel company there to find out what the checked-in baggage allowance is, and they tell you that it is £50. 
So, you carefully pack your bags and weigh them and they add up exactly to 50. But when you bring them to the airport, you are surprised to be told that you have exceeded your baggage allowance more than twice. Why? Because you made the mistake of measuring the weight of your luggage in kilograms instead of pounds. This kind of thing typically happens when you use the wrong standard of measurement. Repentance is formally required. This requirement is spelt out in verse 7 of our text, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, here God directs the sinner to abandon his wicked way and his unrighteous thoughts and to return to him. This is what true repentance is all about, it is not just a turning away from sin, but it is a return to the Lord as well. Both actions must take place in true repentance. If a person merely turns away from sin without returning to God, such as those who attempt a self-reformation of their own life, it will not be long before they revert to their old self and goes back to their old sins. Please don't wait for God to say those awful words to you. But listen to him now speaking these words of Isaiah 55 verses 6 and 7 to your heart, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. You have a golden opportunity right now to be saved by receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Will you use it well? Please use it well. Prayer on the Bible verse of the day. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a repentant heart, acknowledging my mistakes and shortcomings. I ask for your forgiveness for all the sins I have committed, knowingly or unknowingly. I believe in your mercy and grace, and I trust that you will wash me clean of my transgressions. Help me to turn away from my sinful ways and to walk in your light and truth. Thank you for your unconditional love and forgiveness. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. The sure word for today's resource center. The sure word for today's YouTube channel resource center is a valuable resource for individuals seeking spiritual guidance, inspiration, and comfort. The channel offers a wide range of carefully curated playlists, each designed to address specific needs and challenges we face in life. One of the playlists offered by the channel is the Bible verse of the day, which features daily Bible verses that serve as a source of spiritual strength and guidance. Another playlist offered by the channel is Spiritual Motivation, which provides subscribers with uplifting messages and encouragement to help them stay motivated and focused on their spiritual journey. This playlist is designed to inspire individuals to live a life of purpose and meaning, while also helping them overcome obstacles and challenges along the way. Inspirational Quotes from Jefferson is another playlist that offers subscribers words of wisdom and inspiration. These quotes are designed to encourage individuals to pursue their goals and dreams, while also reminding them of the importance of integrity, courage, and perseverance. Words of Encouragement is another playlist that provides subscribers with uplifting and motivational messages designed to help them overcome challenges and setbacks in their lives. The sure word for today's audio blog post is another valuable resource offered by the channel. This playlist features audio recordings of blog posts written by the channel's founder, which provides subscribers with valuable insights and guidance on a wide range of spiritual topics. Personal and Spiritual Growth is a playlist that provides subscribers with practical tips and advice on how to achieve personal and spiritual growth. This playlist is designed to help individuals develop a deeper understanding of themselves and their spirituality, while also helping them cultivate positive habits and behaviors. Effective Time Management is another playlist that provides subscribers with valuable tips and advice on how to manage their time more effectively. This playlist is designed to help individuals prioritize their goals and responsibilities, while also providing them with tools and strategies to help them stay focused and productive. Faith and Despair is a playlist that provides subscribers with guidance and inspiration to help them navigate periods of doubt and uncertainty in their lives. 
This playlist is designed to help individuals develop a deeper sense of faith and resilience, while also providing them with practical tools and strategies to help them overcome feelings of despair and hopelessness. Strength and Bravery is another playlist that provides subscribers with inspiration and encouragement to help them cultivate inner strength and bravery. This playlist is designed to help individuals overcome fear and self-doubt, while also helping them develop the courage and confidence to pursue their goals and dreams. COVID-19 and Coronavirus is a playlist that provides subscribers with valuable information and resources related to the COVID-19 pandemic. This playlist is designed to help individuals stay informed and up-to-date on the latest developments related to the pandemic, while also providing them with practical tips and strategies to stay healthy and safe. Marriage and Relationship is another playlist that provides subscribers with guidance and advice on how to build strong and healthy relationships with their partners. This playlist is designed to help individuals cultivate meaningful and fulfilling relationships, while also providing them with tools and strategies to navigate challenges and conflicts that may arise. Conflicts and Resolutions is a playlist that provides subscribers with guidance and advice on how to resolve conflicts in their personal and professional lives. This playlist is designed to help individuals develop the skills and strategies needed to resolve conflicts healthily and constructively, while also maintaining positive relationships with others. Mental Illness and Recovery is another playlist that provides subscribers with valuable information and resources related to mental health and wellness. This playlist is designed to help individuals better understand and manage mental health issues, while also providing them with tools and resources to support them. The SureWord Capsule is the medicine for your deliverance, protection, healing, prosperity, and safety. You take this capsule by constantly confessing the Word of God. Please, feel free to contact us if you want us to create a specific capsule to deal with your challenge. It will be customized with your name and the challenge you want to overcome. Finally, if there are topics you would like us to talk about, please feel free to send in your suggestions so we can create the playlist. Our mission. Our mission is delivering the word of God in spirit and truth. Our key scripture is Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. Quote. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Unquote. The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. Luke chapter 4, verse 19 from the Amplified Bible. Quote. To proclaim the accepted and acceptable year of the Lord, the day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. Unquote. How to support our work. Before you go, if you were ministered to and inspired by this video and want to see more, please subscribe to the Sure Word for today's YouTube channel. You can click the thumbnail on the screen, and if you want to support our work even further, the best way is to share it, speak it, tweet it, like it, and love it. Click the bell icon to get notified anytime we post a new video. Also, we will be glad if you can add your comments. We moderate comments on our platform, so our community is not open to abuse, profanity, and spam. We want our community to be safe and inviting to you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.